welcome back YouTube for a uh, midweek video yeah I usually uh, upload uh, on weekends especially lately because I've been really too busy and I'm really uh, making a video like I uh, shouldn't be doing that right now but hey when I take a break I'm looking at anomalies and I just want to share them with you as soon as possible whenever possible so uh, I found this one I hope uh, I think the video will be like 10 minutes a bit short one than usual because I just got a couple of areas in this image I would like to point out now I haven't even checked out the rest here eh? definitely gonna check that out in a minute as well always exciting right um, so right started back in this image you always get the official link there for for the new ones here so you understand uh, I, I always want encourage you to do this for yourself and the tutorial on the description it's it's not the best tutorial you ever see we'll give you a head start I still need to add, add like a couple of more videos uh, talk about like in an entire separate video about inversion but we'll get there in in time so basically I noticed this anomaly here and it looked quite strange especially due to the front here there's like some kind of arch here um, it goes like this and it's starting to get a lot more interesting right and there's something here like almost like a 90 degree angle I see some blurring going on over here and we'll just start on top at the moment now what I immediately noticed I mean you will get an eye for this once you start doing this I'm um, at the original layer whenever you, wherever you see the lock that's the original one so it's untouched and what you immediately notice especially in this area everything is kind of blurred out flattened out the colors are not okay uh, everything's kind of blended into the ground now we'll uh, I'll show you in a minute so basically we did our usual steps here well, of course usual I did everything off camera now I'm going to invert it because it's not so apparent in the first place and that's why we use inversion as you can see I've already used some brush tool here and there let's see if this one's uh, fine enough here let's enhance it a bit and let's go right let me make the um, of course totally forgot to do this I mean I just finished this image basically of course uh, I, an image is never finished there's always somewhere something in it uh, that's why I got you guys and if you got any suggestions on improving the channel let me know an interesting suggestion about adding a grid in my video so you could John then say in the comments uh, look at grid uh, B2 uh, for an anomaly uh, we'll see how that will work out because I'm also, of course editing live here on the image as well I'm still thinking about it anyways uh, I should stop talking <laughs> I guess to miss you guys uh, a lot uh, and let's make the brush a little smaller here so it starts off with this thing I hope you notice that with me gibbering and it's a 90 degree angle there's something definitely going on there it goes like this goes down um, it's definitely some kind of molten substance so we got the first indications that there's something going on something here see Oop, and it goes like this now I need to make this a bit smaller here I think I had set previously in my videos on three pixels uh, it's not like uh, NASA's image quality is going to improve this is by the way so 109 so we went a bit uh, a step backwards because I think NASA's releasing ridiculous stuff lately it's just rubbish after rubbish and I've been drilling like a hole since like forever that's fine of course uh, drilling can be interesting as well as long as you give us the real data so we have no way to verify if they have given us real data which I think is kind of ridiculous because we're paying them it's like a public thing that everyone's paid so we should have like a um, some some means to verify the officials that's what I've always been saying on my channel now what you might have noticed on here as well this amazing arch here and look how well defined it is now go something goes to the back here and you can see all the detail it's so amazing here let's go back to the uninverted now you can still see the line here 
what it looks like now it's just simply a rock nothing more but um, like I said I do believe that this is already inverted it doesn't make sense when we've just checked out the original layer uh, there's definitely something going with the color when I see this happen when I start to invert and this to me looks like fine details and it shouldn't be possible when you're inverting an image I wish I had already done my inversion video but I gave you an example at least for the subscribers that have been for a uh, longer while on my channel uh, I think like few videos ago somewhere in between of the in, in, in the videos I have given you a demonstration what I'm talking about now I already noticed something as well which in one of my videos I found something similar and it was in this video somewhere at the end halfway through I found something that looked like a biological plant or um, some kind of well this one looks to me more like machinery but who knows now let me grab the layer again here <coughs> that is going to sound kind of sound stupid but you have to pay to attention to the details and this is definitely there so we got a half circle here right now you got this kind of blob here like an enlarged blob it's going to the back you can see it going like this and then to the right you got the same thing here now pay careful attention here it goes to the back and makes the same arch so I hope you're seeing this as well uh, like I pointed out this thing is strange as well and there's definitely something going on there I can see like a small plate there of kind of a tube here oh yeah by the way we're talking about tubes here <coughs> now look at this there's a tube here as well kind of a small circle elongated going to the back and that's in an area where we can find a 90 degree angle <coughs> So, <coughs> let's go, excuse me, let's go to the normally bit down. And we can see this one basically fine without inverting it. Um, this to me looks very, very strange. Now we've got a 90 degree angle here. And I think it's connected here because I see some kind of blurred line. I haven't checked this out yet for myself. <coughs> well, that's interesting. That's why I always got to double check stuff before making a video. And if I make a mistake, I hope you bash me for it. That's why you're here. You have to check me. You can double check me and uh, you can do this for yourself. And that's fine. Just spend a lot of time with these things, these babies here. As kind of like a broken arch here, then goes to here. And I think that this was connected at some point. Now we check this out properly. Alright, very interesting. Anyways, see here? Oops, going like this. And then we got this kind of weird shape. And it's going underneath here. And basically, for me, let me see if we can enhance it a bit more. Now, I already enhanced it quite a bit. <coughs> well, what this looks like to me is some kind of machinery. And that's started with these lines here. Now, of course, it's not perfect. It's destroyed. Who knows how old Mars is? It's going like this. And kind of these, these patterns here, they shouldn't be here. And this looks like to be part of it as well, this whole area here. Now, let's go to the new one, which I haven't seen as well. And let's see what happens. We got that thing. looks like a block to me. Yes, it is. We got, we scored. We made a goal here, right? Ha. <laughs> I always love to see blocks, I always get too excited about blocks. And that's why people think I'm crazy. I know. <laughs> uh, you're just as crazy as me because you're watching this. <laughs> that's why we want big community. Now, to me, see? And it's... It's definitely blockish, rectangular. And it's kind of rusted away, something's broken here. This has been completely removed by NASA, or, you know, camera artifacts here, going on, still possible. I've been actually studying up on uh, NASA's data, um, NASA's uh, file format, which is called ICER. And basically everything it has been made for, it doesn't, it just makes less and less sense. Why are we getting crappy images? It, it angers me so much. Especially when you're starting to understand what's going on in images 
And, and the longer, t the, the more you study up, the more you find out that, that we deserve a lot more. They should just give us better quality. Now, come on. Now, I just found this one as well. It's another square. And let's see. And see, see this last, uh, this piece behind there? That's why I always get excited and start to struggle with, with explaining stuff. It's completely blended in by color. It's completely blended in. And that's the whole idea. And there's a back piece to it. Now this can get interesting right here. <clears throat> what would be really cool, like I've been making a video and I would, yeah, uh, someone would call me, hey, NASA's, ex uh, uh, NASA's big exposure is going on. Check the news. Well, that's not going to happen, of course. <clears throat> but we got to start somewhere. And you can start just by pressing subscribe, thumbs up. Um, I'm busy making a website for us, uh, for us all so we can communicate there uh, basically i'm lacking so much time that it's it's i had to put put it on the back burner for the moment but i'm still testing though tests are still going on from uh here and there oh, it's, it's basically almost finished but i don't want to say that you never say that when you work in it and what was i going to do see now i'm talking and i totally forgot but wow now we inverted this for a reason of course and you know the reason i hope by now is that you can see the uh the important lines a lot better now shadow can interfere with something but remember nas is also adding shadows to it and i got some good proof to back that up and i'm quite positive about it basically so i hope you liked the video i have no idea what to call this but it definitely looks like some kind of broken off square here we have some kind of chassis, something protecting it, whatever it was. And I know, I'm starting to think that there's so much more in it. You just can't spend enough time with one image. But you know what? Look at the mount here. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta go step by step here. Let's check this out, check that out. You always miss something. But what I really hate is missing something I had seen before making the video. And I really wanted to put it in the video and then at the end of the video I, I totally forgot it. And I'm watching it back and I'll hate myself. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't, you, you don't hate yourself. So I almost dropped the microphone here. It's time to uh, end the video. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you in the next video. Hope you're having a good day. We had like uh, 28 degrees Celsius in Holland. Uh, anywhere between 25 and 28 depending of course where you live. And what an awesome day hope you're having an awesome day as well uh, enjoy the rest of the week i'll see you if i'll put out another video during the week of course but uh, as said i am busy <coughs> and uh, see you in the next video thank you very much for listening